today I want to share a flip through of a journal that I'm working in myself right now. This one um, is created out of a old hardback book. I picked the book when I saw it at the thrift store because of this book. It's a cicada, and that's one of the things, you know, this is the year of the cicada, and I just thought that was a cool thing. So yeah. I put a ribbon that I sewed on and um, it's sewed onto the back to keep it from falling off. It's three signatures, and it has a buckle to keep it closed. I started this as my Jekyll Island book that I was going to use for my trip. Well, I didn't write as much as I thought I would, so that's how it got started. Um, this was the only the second time we'd went without my mom, and so, I figured I had to take her with us some way. So I put the, one of my favorite pictures of her and the girls um, at Driftwood Beach. So this is, um, I used a Jekyll Island magazine as um, some of the pages because, like I said, I was planning on using this just for my Jekyll, but it ended up being more. So I have a pocket here, had the tide chart from our trip, um, part of the envelope from our check-in, our crazy Monday getting down to the beach, it was really hard for us, so, and then once we got to the beach, yeah, I like to collect things, so I pop, popped a little feather in there and drew some things, there was some really cool bird prints in the sand, we used Jekyll Island Realty, so I put that in, we got some sandcastle stuff and built sandcastles but I like to draw in my journals not just write um, Tuesday was a whole day at the beach added more stuff from the same day we went to Driftwood Bistro which is our favorite restaurant so I got a, one of the menus and a little to-go menus and added it in with some washi tape that I've had forever. I absolutely love this washi tape. I wish I could find more of it, but I have not been able to find any more of it. This was from the same set. Then I found this feather. I love the blue. This looks pretty. So, now that I'm walking back to the apartment. I'm put it in here. On Wednesday, I went to the um, Jekyll Island Mosaic, and they were celebrating the 100th anniversary of Faith Chapel's Tiffany window, so I included that in. This was our um, the envelope for our check-in stuff, and the unused pool pass <laughs> that we never used. And then I just started drawing things that I did. So I picked up breakfast at the pantry at the Jekyll Island Club, went to the Mosaic, went to the one of my favorite stores, it's a retro store for Retro Jekyll. The beach access that we used. We got Uber Eats. Thank goodness for an Uber coupon. Uber Eats coupon. And then we decided to go get Fuse. This bird, it was so funny, I drew it after we got back. I had taken pictures of it because it was like it was posing. It stood there for a 20 30 minutes. I got some videos of it and everything. Yeah. Here's another piece of the Jekyll Island magazine. Check out Lazy Morning. Our favorite coffee place in Brunswick. Picked up some books. We always stop at Books a Million. And then, so yeah. Just writing more Jekyll Island magazine here this is after we came back so this is where it started I realized I was not going to finish this book on my Jekyll trip and I didn't want to save it for another trip so I just decided I'd keep using it because I really enjoyed it so just a day shopping the next day going work doing the market at Farm View which my market days are over now I have a couple more events there but not the weekly market on Sunday I really didn't draw much Root. One thing I like about doing these letters is just it's just me writing it and me writing it over on top. Popping in some of my favorite washi from that same set. These were all from this set. Then just adding more in. 
I write about my day, I draw things on my desk, you know, it's just a like tropical storm Fred that came through and knocked the power out for a little bit. And this was making journals and busy admin day, you know, just little things. Girl shopping trip. I like recording my day, it's fun. Another market day. Church and a wedding shower. Monday. I like drawing my recipes too, like the ingredients in my recipes, it's fun. This one I didn't add anything to. Another one of my coffee stained and Tim Holtz um, distressing stained. Sometimes I write a lot. Like this ended up being a page and a little page. And sometimes I don't. Here's another recipe ingredient that I did. I got new um, paint palettes. So instead of throwing away the little paint wrappers, I put them in here and painted my palette. Oh, that means glued back. Same thing. Another palette. Hobby Lobby had some palettes on sale, so I bought them. I love them more a little bit. And then last week, I didn't write about anything. I had pulled my back out, and so it was like three days of not doing anything. So here we go. Started back on Sunday. Just lettering and things like that. This was the cover. This was the first page of the actual book, and I just put it back in here because I thought the little man was cute. And then yesterday, I filled a whole page of doodles just playing around working on a new class. It's not really a new class. I taught it in person. Um, I've taught it in person a lot and I'm just playing around doing some things and then a little bit of our Labor Day and there we go. And then I'll start adding more here. But let's flip through the rest of it. It's, you know, it's got coffee stain papers and dictionary pages and you can probably hear my cow in the background. We got a new cow on the farm. Or coffee stain. This is coffee stained, and then while it was wet, I dropped India ink into it. So it gave it the so the ink is permanent, but it looks like it's uh, old. More paper from the book. Jekyll Island. Another piece of paper from this book. The last signature here has tabs and Jekyll Island and little pieces and plain pieces. Next time I probably won't do full pages of the dictionary. I'll do something else with that. So I ended up not even being really writing on it. So this is the whoever owned this book. This is um, a really heavy duty um, paper bag that I got in Atlanta. So yeah, this book has a lot of jumping off points, a lot of plain paper, another piece of a book page. So this book had a lot of, this one is um, new paper, but it matches. More about Jekyll, and there we go. And then you can see where I glued a piece of ribbon over the stitching part so that the stitching wouldn't come loose. And it's the same in the front, but I put the picture over it. So, but yeah, that's my current illustrated journal that I'm working in. I do have an art journal going, but this is my current illustrated journal. And so, yeah, hope you enjoyed the flip through.